Today, we're talking about one of the most ubiquitous plays in college football. That's a big word, isn't it? The snag route. We've got college game film and pages from my Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, and it's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, it's time for a little install. I'm going back to my Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook under Sam Weiss, directly from Bill Walsh. And so we're going to have the original West Coast version of the snag route. We're also going to take a look at college game film. The snag is one of the most common plays in any college offense most of the teams across the country at least have a version of it. And I'm going to show you a couple different versions that we use down in Tampa for different reads. And I'll tell you why when we get to that. First, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell. If you love college football content, football content in general, X's and O's, subscribe, ring that bell. Make sure you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Give me a like down below, smash the button. Let's get going. And of course, as always, please Comment on this video. Ask any questions you have. I'm happy to answer them, and I'd love to hear from you. Now let's check out the snag route. The most common name for the play is snag. 92 Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook, we called it Dart 60 or 61 Helmet. 60 or 61, in this case it would be 60, denotes the pass protection. You have your fullback double-checking Mike to Sam, and then from the first uncovered lineman, which would generally be your guard, but it could be your center, you're going to man the tackle and then slide back to pick up protections. They're going to work backside over here. Three on two, likely. You're going to have tackle on end or backer. And then, depending on your front, you're going to get a D-tackle nose guard. Anyway, so man slide protection. That's 60 force in that Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. The play is simple. Concept is Y on the corner route. Z on what teams are now calling the snag route. We called it the dart. And then H to the flat. Versus man coverage. This play is a simple read for a quarterback. If you get a good match in man coverage, Y against a strong safety linebacker, you feel like you got the shot, take your shot. That's your throw. You also have an alert on the backside on your decide route. If you like that as a quarterback, you got soldered up man coverage, you can go ahead and take that throw. Still versus man, you have a runaway route by your Z. In Sam's progression, you can see here, your second progression was on your shallow cross. So if you get man, you've got that corner outside running away across the field. Runaways are always man beaters. That's a good throw. Third in your progression, you're going to take that half back to the flat. Now, some teams versus man read this differently. Some teams will read Y corner if you have the shot to half back flat versus man. I understand that progression. I like that progression. It keeps your eyes on the same side and it still works. However you read it versus man, it's a great play. If you get zone, let's say a team wants to play you cover two. As a quarterback, which is strong safety, free safety, corner. As a quarterback, your pre-snap read, cover two, you're thinking, I want to throw that corner route. What I have to do is key that flat defender. If he covers this halfback out in the flat on his way out, I'm going to throw my Y open. I don't want to keep him on this high angle. I'm going to make him come down to the ball. So I'm going to drop a ball as a quarterback that's going to bring him out to green grass. So throw him open. You can see here, we ran it out of seven steps. As a quarterback, I actually like it out of five steps. So you can throw those quick windows. Some teams are shortening down this to seven to eight yards, and they're trying to run it out of three steps. I think that's a, too quick of a read for a quarterback to let it de develop. Sometimes you can't tell what this corner is doing right away, and you can get yourself in trouble by getting back three and trying to put the ball up. You can also help out that safety over the top if you hit quick three, turn to throw, he gets a jump on it right now. So five steps for me is perfect, but a super simple triangle read on the outside right there versus man. If you like your matchup, bang that. Or you have that to the flat with whoever's covering him, probably a linebacker, Mike in this case, having to run through all this traffic. If you get cover three, corner over the top, free safety, which means middle of field close, corner on the outside, Strong safety, 
inside. Now you can expect that this corner is going to cancel that corner route. And so as a quarterback, you're going to work inside on what's called a horizontal stretch. You're going to put a stretch on this strong safety. If the strong safety flies out to the flat right now with the H-back, your Z sits down, you pop in the ball, it's easy pitch and catch. If your strong safety honors this inside route, now you've got him out leveraged with flare control to the halfback. So it's a two-on-one horizontal stretch, easy win. You could also run this with the corner, the snag or sit, and you could run the back on a swing. UCLA used it that way with the back on the swing versus Oregon with their young quarterback, Chase Griffin, in his first start. Let's take a look. So UCLA, too big, into the boundary. Tight end type here, tight end type here. Again, same exact concept. You're going to get corner route over the top. This tight end is just going to come out here and settle, find an open space. You get Demetric Felton on the swing out of the backfield. Chase Griffin, first start as a quarterback versus University of Oregon in Autzen. Tough place to play. Super simple route, easy for a young quarterback to read. You drop back, you see you've got a corner high over the top. You're going to 1-2, sit down, hit that tight end, make it super simple. Let's run that back one time. Again, corner. I know this guy is going to cancel that out. Quarterback, pre-snap, I know I'm going to read this defender. If he gets width... I've got my sit down right now. If he stays in tight, I throw my swing to Demetric Felton and let him do something in the wide open field. If I don't like that front side at all, I'm going to get a climb or over route with a sit down on the back side to come back to. Once again, young quarterback, simple read. Drop back read. This guy got width. You can see Griffin still keying him right now. As long as he stays out here, this is pitch and catch. Boom. Stick your foot in the ground and hit it. Five-step drop equates to a three-step drop out of shotgun, and that's easy. Now, here's the other way that we ran this snag concept when I was down in Tampa, and this time we're running it to the weak side out of a weak flow protection, and we're trying to get matchups with backs on linebackers. So... You can see here, 78, 79, X delay. And the Q stands for quick, so scat release by the fullback. You can see right here, Q for your fullback. If you get pressure from the weak side as a quarterback, you've got that right now. So that takes care of your Q. The weak flow means that rather than having your back stay in, he's scat, so your tight end is going to stay in and be your sixth blocker in this protection. You're going to get that same man zone concept here, and you're going to slide back from the first uncovered man. But instead of having your back check Mike to Sam, this time you're just going to have your tight end stick on Sam. If Mike comes, you're hot. You throw the cue to your fullback. The route concept, it's almost exactly the same. You're just going to read it a little bit different. If you get man, we want that matchup. Halfback on the corner route. You can see here, stay up top. That way the quarterback can flatten you with the ball out here and leave you open space. We are hoping to get the matchup with a peg linebacker on a more fleet halfback out of the backfield. That's why we're running it weak with weak flow. So number one and an alert is right here for your quarterback. You can see number one in your progression, halfback corner. Number two in this case is your Z sideline. And this is really, you're not coming one to two. This is really a 1A, 1B. It's a pre-snap read. If I like the matchup on the backside with my Z on this corner running that comeback, I can get back seven steps and just bang it to that comeback. So as a quarterback, pre-snap, if I like the matchup to my right, I throw it out to my Z. If I like the linebacker against the back, I throw it to my halfback out of the backfield. Number three, 
Y check drag. So down here, like I said, the Y stays in and drags, that's versus zone. You get a high-low stretch on whoever the flat defender is out here as a quarterback. You can make that throw. Oftentimes, this play comes open because you have peg linebacker, Mike linebacker, and if we were to get peg on the H-back and we didn't like it, if Mike is playing man, he's got to fight through all this traffic to get out to the fullback right now. If you see that as a quarterback, you know you've got that matchup and you have him out leveraged, that's your shot right now, and he's got plenty of room to roam down the sideline. The way some teams are running this is they're running that same snag concept with the corner over the top, the back on the swing, but they're running slants from their outside receivers. It's the way Stanford ran it versus Colorado, and they got two man, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Stanford, two by two. You can see receivers to the field. What you're going to get is the snag route on this side. Corner route. This is going to turn into a slant because Colorado is playing two man. Back is going to start in motion and wide swing for flare control right now. Locked up man on the backside. And you're going to get a whip or it could be a choice route by the backside receiver number two to the boundary. Colorado is playing two man. When Stanford sends this back in motion, you're going to see Nate Lambin come out and chase in man. Stanford has a five man protection on here, and I think they blow it because you have one, two, three, four guys rushing, and they commit all five guys down in. This left tackle comes in to help out with the D tackle. Now, they could have made some kind of over or slide call, try to pick up Mike in the middle, but there's really no reason for that in this set because they have five across here to pick up five across here. Let's take a look at the play. You can see back swings. Right now, quarterback knows I've got man because this dude's getting out. So man... Over the top, you've got the corner, but with safety help, that's not a great throw. Back on the swing wouldn't necessarily be bad, but you're going to have the runaway on the slant inside as well. So watch as Davis Mills does a great job here. He gets edge pressure right now. He's looking to throw the swing right now, but he has to avoid edge pressure. He steps up and bangs this slant route. He's going to throw that swing, but feels the pressure, steps up, and finds a slant anyway. That's great execution. So you can see the snag route is a great route. Easy reads for the quarterback, quick decisions, easy throws, with an opportunity for big plays in there as well. If you like what I did here today, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notified every time we have new stuff coming out, new play installs, college film review, all of that stuff coming to you. Smash that like button if you like what I did here today. And again, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you in terms of what you'd like to see, any plays that you'd like me to break down, any teams that you'd like me to go over. I'd love to hear from you. If you're thinking about putting the snag route in your offense, that's how you read it. Easy for a quarterback. You should definitely do it. Just takes a little bit of quarterback training. Get all your guys on the same page in terms of football skills, and you're good to go. I'll talk to you again soon.